high demands on my players and I expect them to fight and to give 100 percent and so I already mentioned only good is good enough uh, no not even that we have to do better and they have to cooperate uh, they have to unify uh, to form a team and to battle the opponent you'll remember that from Eric Ten Hag's first interview as Manchester United manager Good is not good enough. It was a quote that sort of resonated with a lot of United fans because, yeah, good's not good enough. We need better than that at Manchester United. And Eric Ten Hag is a man who really is known for setting extremely high standards and demanding perfection. But he's somebody who puts those standards on himself as well. And what I want to do in this video is uh, you've been, you seem to be enjoying the, the preseason series I'm doing, looking into training and sort of patterns we're seeing emerging. This is the latest part of that. So if you do enjoy it, make sure you drop a like on the video. But I want to run through what we've seen so far with the demands from Eric Ten Hag, what we're hearing from the training ground, what we're seeing in the training ground, and how this really is the beginning of something very, very different at Manchester United that I don't think we've had. I really, really don't. So let's get into it. Eric Ten Hag, as I say, he's a man who, a manager who is known as somebody who's a bit obsessed. Down here, Bart Ville, I can't even say his name. I'm going to call him Bart. Uh, complex but cool, what Eric Ten Hag can bring to United and how his former friends, uh, sort of, not former friends, sorry, his friends and former charges say he's a football-obsessed control freak. Now, that can be seen as a bit of a negative if you want to take it that way, but it's also a positive. Now, I've run through quite a few of these training videos, but this one in particular has caught my attention. And I'll, I'll be honest, this is, this is the exact same training drill I showed you before. On Monday, I said this is what we can expect in preseason, and it's all that's really been talked about. A real focus on this training drill. Which you can see here, two players that cross over there into the middle. The player inside the middle, Scott McTominay receiving it on his left now. But now he's receiving it on his right. It, it's Eric Ten Hag teaching these players how to use both feet. And listen to what Ten Hag says here. Soon anyway. You're making too many mistakes. And that's a thing that's sort of, it's kind of a little bit viral this week. Um, lots and lots of people talking about it. And it's the demand. It's not just about Scott McTominay there, but it's that training drill. As I said, this is one that really, it seems to be the one that we're seeing more and more of. It's quite easy. It's two players crossing over, passing into the middle, Scott McTominay turning, two players immediately crossing it back and crossing over. It's the way to build possession, build confidence with the ball at his feet. But as Eric Ten Hag also said in his first interview as Manchester United manager, he said this, and I thought this sort of resonates with what we're seeing right now. Yeah, uh, now it's a new start also for me, and we have to build it up from, from the bottom. Uh, so uh, on zero, and I have to build uh, and starting a new relationship with the squad, with my players. And that is exactly what he's been doing so far. With Eric Ten Hag, the thing I really have been enjoying is kind of how predictable it is. How easy it is to say, right, this is what we're probably going to be seeing this week. And we saw it all. It wasn't hard to call. And I say that that's a positive thing because it means we, if we can understand it as fans, it probably means that the players are finding it easier to understand as well. Obviously, Donny van der Beek, he would understand it. He's sort of that second nature to him already. But the other players, bit by bit by bit, will be learning and repeating the same things because it's clear what Eric Ten Hag wants. And what Eric Ten Hag wants is to get to this. Now, this is a video from Ajax. Look at the, look at, just look at how intense and how quick it is. It's such a small space. One touch and move. Not even move, just one touch. Absolutely amazing, really. This is where United need to get towards. We've still got some way to go. Absolutely, we've got some way to go. But Eric Ten Hag, on a day-by-day -day basis, on a training session-by-training -training session basis, will be building this confidence in these players. And I'll tell you what, like we've heard so much about the, how the players, they don't really understand what's going on under Solskjaer or they want someone who's more tactic, with more tactical acumen. But then Ragnik came in and they complained about him having too much tactical and They just complained about everything they could possibly complain about. But with Eric Ten Hag now, what he's doing is building this confidence and also at the same time building this loyalty with the players. And just to use this as a bit of a polar opposite comparison. But you remember this quote, right? 
after Luke Shaw put in an absolute storm of performance for Man United, Jose Mourinho didn't compliment him really after the game. He said, no, he used his body, his body, but he used my mind. I'm the genius that put in that performance. And that's not really going to build loyalty with players on a long-term basis. It might work in the short term, which is why Mourinho's always had short-term success and why he's never really left a massive legacy. Well, obviously, he's left a legacy at the club, but he's left a bit of a steaming part of shit at the same time. He's doing it differently and he's building the loyalty. And all you're hearing really so far about Eric Ten Hag and the work that he's done, it's all positive and it's all heading in the right direction. Now, these couple of quotes from Rio Ferdinand, uh, latest video that he did with Five, sort of point towards even more of that. He's saying, what I'm hearing from the training ground is that it's very positive. Sessions have been really enjoyable, high intensity, and the workload is massive. But Eric Ten Hag is demanding a certain type of energy and intensity from the players. So the fitness levels have to be driven up. Players are responding brilliantly. And as I said, I think you're really just hearing constant positive news, updates. There's no bad murmurs coming from the training ground. There's no real stories of players complaining about the extra work that they're going to be doing. Because they are doing extra work. These players have been lazy for a long time. They have got away with it for a long time. But as Eric Ten Hag said in that interview, which we covered there, good is not good enough. And it should never be good enough at Manchester United. And it has, well, not even good's been good enough. Jesus, mediocre or bang average been good enough for the last few years but he's trying to change that and as he said again in the other part of the interview i covered bit by bit he's building it up from the ground and something that's really going to help eric ten Hag in that is new signings and that's why the likes of tyrell malasia that's why i'm excited about him coming in with a brand new energy and attitude that eric ten Hag can now point towards and use as a prime example for anybody who's not doing it properly He'll just point towards his new signing and say, look, if you don't want to do it, that's fair enough, you can, but you will leave. <laughs> I, will, I will bring someone in who will follow this process because he's got his process. It worked at Ajax and he's, deter he, he's so um, confident in his own ability as a coach that he can make his coaching somewhat predictable. But I could have brought you that video on Monday and it's exactly the training drill that we've been doing because it's almost like we've seen him do that training drill before. And it's almost like it's worked before. And it's almost like he's trying to do the exact same thing at Manchester United. Because he is. He's building it from the ground up. But you can see the image that he's trying to build it in. And as I said, I'm just... Well, you know me right now. I, I'm, I'm a positive person when I can be. I'm not somebody who looks sort of ignore the elephant in the room. If there's bad shit, then I will speak about it. I spoke quite intensely about how bad Harry Maguire last, was last year. I will speak about the ongoing Ronaldo situation as it continues to develop. But I will focus on the positives where they are there. And I think there's a lot. And I'll be honest, like with the transfers, it's been a bit frustrating so far. We know that. But what we, will, what we also know and what I really strongly feel is that Eric Ten Hag will coach these players into being better players. They will be. There's no way that that team last year was at the level it was. When we went into the start of the season, we, thought, we all thought we could challenge. That's how good we all felt the squad was, and it fell apart spectacularly. But the players here, they're responding well. Rio Fernand, whoever he's speaking to at the training ground, that's what he's hearing. High intensity, the workload is massive. But the players are enjoying it, and it's because of that clarity of direction. I guarantee you that's a big, big thing. Whether they agree with everything that Ten Hag's asking them to do, I, I, I imagine they're not, because they're working. 10 times harder because he does have that intensity that he requires from the players. But as he says at the start, good's not good enough. Starting from the bottom up and Ten Hag, anything he's demanding of these players, he's demanding of himself as well. He'll put the biggest and highest standards on his own performances as coach. He wants to make sure that whatever he asks the players to do, that he himself, that he'll hold himself to those same standards. Because if he didn't, he'd undermine himself as a coach. But I'm just liking everything I'm hearing coming out from training this week. I'm loving the fact that we've got Malasia over the line. I'm loving the fact that Ericsson's about to be announced. I think that's going to be an excellent signing. And I want De Jong added into that. Jesus, Barcelona, stop being dicks, man. Pay, the, pay him the wages he's owed. He's dirty snakes. They're acting like politicians. Barcelona really, yeah, more than a club. My ass. Right. But I'm excited about 
quite a lot of things at United. We need more signings. There's still work to do. But everything we've heard from the training ground over the first couple of weeks of training has been really positive. And that video there, as I said, that video that really focused on him saying, look, that's too many mistakes. It's because he's demanding perfection. He's not doing it in a Jose Mourinho sort of way. He's doing it in a way which he's trying to create loyalty and instill loyalty for a long-term sustainable success. That's a big difference between Ten Hag and Mourinho. But let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about the preseason series. I'm sure I'll keep doing more as, as more develops. But I'm excited about what I'm hearing from the training ground after the first couple of weeks. It is the start of something new and he is starting from the ground up. But clearly the players are responding. I'm interested to see what happens in the preseason games against Liverpool and to see what early signs of this training we can see on the pitch. Take it easy, everyone.